Farms and cornfields surround Smithfield, and corn feeds pigs that are turned into many kinds of meat products. One of Smithfield Foods' many meatpacking plants is here. It takes a lot of machines and people to operate the world's largest pork producer. And in the past two years, Smithfield Foods says it has expanded its workforce by nearly 1,300 to a bit more than 48,000 employees. This workforce helped Smithfield hit a $15 billion sales record in 2014. While the firm is adding people, it is also cutting debt. That impressed the S&P agency, which raised Smithfield's credit rating. Here on Main Street, Smithfield residents have been concerned that Chinese ownership might hurt the economy. John Edwards, publisher of the Smithfield Times, says some thought the company might move its operations and thousands of jobs elsewhere, devastating this community of 8,000. Well, part of it has to do with the fact that it's China. It's a communist country. People just didn't trust the idea of China owning our biggest industry here. The town of Smithfield started in 1752, which is very old for a U.S. city. Smithfield cherishes a centuries-old courthouse, which displays very old-fashioned kinds of justice. And Main Street features statues of U.S. founding fathers George Washington and Benjamin Franklin. A longtime resident says change comes slowly here, and people kind of held their breath to see what would happen to Smithfield. I think we liked what we had, and uh, you always, when you like something, you don't want it to change. But the mayor says, so far, so good. Nothing has happened at all. It's exactly the same. In fact, actually, it's right much better. Mayor T. Carter Williams says city tax receipts are up slightly yeah, and says the company it. is looking for more office space for additional employees, though Smithfield Foods would not confirm that. The company declined requests to do interviews and did not allow VUA to shoot video inside its plant. In a written statement, Smithfield officials say they have kept promises to honor union contracts, not fire employees, and keep the current management team in place and the headquarters in the very small town the company is named for. Jim Randall, VOA News, Smithfield, Virginia.